So guys, yeah. we are moving. Uh, we have sold majority of our stuff. Oh. And subscribe and um, notification button thank you for choosing to watch at we are a combo or full house today yeah That's our yeah. first boy, Tehila and Zuryo. Say hi, Zuryo. And today we have got a special news to everyone. Very good news. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Such a big announcement and um, so a big one. How big? Very big. <laughs> so big. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Our, our family know, our social media family, YouTube family know <laughs> Wow! That we are, we are traveling to the Philippines! Yeah. So we're gonna fly all the way from Kenya, Africa to the Philippines! We must fly many countries! Wow! Like which country? China! Yeah, China, yeah. Hong Kong is in China. Uh -huh. And also the other Ethiopia. country, Ethiopia, right? Yeah. Ethiopia, yes, yes. Oh, are you in Right. Right. So, so guys, yeah. we are moving. Uh, we have sold majority of our stuff, oh. and we've been in the Philippines for quite some time, and I get to be the family in the Philippines. I know even you are. So now you get to see us while we're in the Philippines. Right now we're still in Kenya. We're preparing to go. We're about uh, just a few more days and we'll be out of this country. And so we are having different mixed feelings with each and everybody. Uh, Taylor, Taylor, what do you? What is your reaction? Um, I'm going to be sad. I'm sad because I am. I'm leaving my family here, but I'm happy that I'm going to see my family in the yeah. Philippines. <laughs> Many of you fans um, have asked us um, if we could travel to the Philippines, do a vlog there, and finally it's happening. And um, it's a mixed emotion like was said by my lovely wife. Zuria, what about you? I remember he cried. He was really... So sad. Uh, can you tell us about that? What happened when you heard that we were going to the Philippines? I'm sad that I'm leaving my cousins and my Georgia, my aunties in Kenya, and I'm happy that I'm going to Philippines. Yes, and also his godmother that she, or Nina, that she's he's so attached to, right? You're so sad of, uh, for leaving her. <laughs> yes. And what about you, Sandy? Hey! We haven't got to Sandy, Sandy, what about you? Are you happy that you're in the Philippines? You're going? Oh, really? Yes. You're going to ride a big airplane. What is in the airplane? That would be Kiss, Aww. Oh. So sweet. Kiss, kiss. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Lots of love there. Yeah. What are you going to see in the Philippines? Oh, you're going to see Amara. Oh, your bad damage. And Zuri. Oh, and your Jajalo, your grandfather. You've never seen him. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Theophany, enough kisses for the day. Oh. Okay. Oh, hi. All right. Theophany, are you excited to go to the Philippines? Yes. Yes, you're happy? Oh. <laughs> quite a last week uh, so we're having a series of videos that we're going to be doing on our last week here in Kenya so please yes yeah, subscribe to our channel turn on the notification bell if you want to watch this and even as we prepare just to transition our lives 
they're going to be going to school there in the new year. So our lives are really just going a whole 360 degrees change from Kenya to the Philippines. So, of course, you already said you're going to miss a lot of people here to your family. But I want to ask, who is your the auntie that you will miss the most, the most, the most? Auntie Esther. Okay, tell everyone why. Why? Auntie Esther. Auntie Esther. Why? She's, because? She's, she's, every day we come back from school, she makes for us a, a snack. She she doesn't even forget to give us a snack. Every day, she she never let us to, to uh, she has never let us a day without a snack. She she keeps on caring for me. She she gives me a lot when I am crying. She helps me. She gives me some food which is nice. She gives me some chocolate to at least to make me happy again. That's why I'm missing her. Oh snack and those things. And what about other things, Riel? I'm sad because when I come from school she give me some and when I'm sad, I'm a, someone has beaten me up. I'm a, some, I'm a, I have a wound. She cares for me. Wow, so that is really an auntie that uh, you love the most and who loves you the most. So that's one of the difficult things about moving places, those bonds and those attachments. So now we want to prepare you for going to the Philippines. In the Philippines, our national language is, is also English, I think. <laughs> I know it's also English, official language. <laughs> yes, it is. And also, of course, we have our own Filipino. Tagalog, but uh, nationally it's called Filipino. So, I will begin by speaking to you in Tagalog. Kahit hindi nyo ko naiintindihan, kakausapin ko kayo sa... Filipino. Narinig nyo ba? Narinig nyo? <laughs> Bakit nyo ako tinitignan na parang iba ang sinasabi ko? Kasi hindi nyo talaga ako naiintindihan. Yan. Kasi sinubukan ko kayong turuan, pero talagang mahirap dahil mag-isa lang akong <laughs> nanagalog. <laughs> pero ngayon, mapipilita na kayo. Mapipuwal sa kayong magtagalog. Pero alam niyo yung ibang Tagalog, di ba? Alam niyo yung hugas kamay. Okay, what is hugas kamay, Tila? Hugas kamay means that washing hands. Oh, good job, good job. Wow, I didn't even know that. Ah, okay. <laughs> Duyel, what is uh, palo? <laughs> okay, what Tagalog word do you know? Do you also know hugas kamay? Umaganda, magandang umaga po. <laughs> it means what? Wow, good morning. So, okay, sabu. That's correct. So if you want to say good morning in Tagalog, how do you say? Yeah. So malayo, masyadong malayo sa totoo, pero at least sinusubukan niya. Good job, Julia. Palakpak. This is called palakpak. Palakpak. Mahusay. Mahusay. <laughs> uh, so, don't worry. They're going to learn Filipino because we're going to be surrounded with all their... Mm. All people who look like daddy. <laughs> all people who look like daddy. <laughs> and they're going to be too like daddy. <laughs> <laughs> so, My dad is taller. Okay, so you're thinking that the Philippines is a place full of people who look like me. That's an interesting observation. But <laughs> that we is are the only ones who are, who are going to be surrounded by the oh, only ones. Yes, but uh, you're, you know you're Filipino. You're Filipino, yes, you're African, but uh, you're what is called mixed. You have, you have the best of both worlds. Your, your mother is African, black, and your father is... He's uh, Asian! Yes, exactly. Asian and Filipino. So you're Filipino. You even have a Filipino passport, right? Yes, I have two passports. I have Kenyan one and a Filipino one. Oh, and, taray. 
I'm the only one who has even my brothers in here. Yes, and most so of us, like even me, I only have one because I'm not dual, dual citizen. So when you're going home, even as you're leaving home, you're also going home. So, hmm, what's your favorite Filipino food, Julia and Tila? Uh, mine is rice. The rice there, the just so yummy, and the food there looks nice, and I like everything which is there. What? I like red rice. Wow, I didn't even know you've heard about red rice. You love red rice? And there's also red. There's brown also rice also. Brown and white. Okay, yeah, you know a lot about rice. And that's a good thing to know as a Filipino. Filipinos, we don't joke around with our rice. <laughs> we have different names for everything. And um, the other day you were telling me you were excited to go to the Philippines because of what food, Zuria? Dragon fruit. Okay, tell us about that, Zuria. Because I've not been eating dragon fruit. Okay. Even what? Since I'm born. Okay, but you're excited. What? What is it? Mm, don't worry. Your grandpa, my dad, has a dragon fruit farm. Last I heard. So when we go there, we'll just ask them to give us some of the harvest, and you can eat dragon fruit to your fill. How about that? Is that exciting? Yay! I'm <laughs> so happy because of dragon fruit farm. Dragon fruit in my home. Yes, and Tila, we can also carry your books, the book that you wrote and published. We're gonna Yay. carry it and so we can um, give it Zuri to is going to love it so much, Zuri. Who is Zuri again? Zuri is my cousin who is there. You remember her? Yeah, I still remember her, Zuri and Amara. They still also have some siblings. They're, they're also so kind to me and they're going to be excited about my book. So they're there now in the Philippines, right? Yes. But they used to be here. Yeah. First, Zuri and Amara's big siblings went first, then they came. Yes, they followed them to the Philippines. And now, we're joining all of them, one big happy family together. And we're going to spend Christmas in the Philippines. Who, who here likes Christmas? Do you like Christmas? Do you also like Christmas? Oh, wow! You're going to see lots of Christmas there. Trees and best kids in their whole life. Yes, and you know in the Philippines, Filipinos, we don't play around with Christmases. We take it seriously. In fact, the whole country prepares for Christmas beginning in the month of September. September, October, November, December. We're putting out all the lights. We call them paro, not paro, paro. So we've been hearing from the kids on how they feel about this move from Kenya to the Philippines. Now let's hear from Pastor Liz. <laughs> well, yes, uh, so I'm leaving home, um, leaving my country. I thank Pastor Sol for all these years for being with me in Kenya. So it's time for me to adjust and to lend him the same grace he has given me by living here. And now to go, yes, I'm so sad. Uh, very sad actually I've been crying a lot I spent a lot of last week crying and this week crying a lot and just so heavy-hearted it takes a lot uh, I'm feeling actually the same emotions I was feeling when I was coming to get married to you <laughs> because I know like no I'm not coming back you remember I packed everything and we're doing the same thing right now just packing all our stuff and um, we've sold the majority of our stuff and um, except the stable so far. So anyway, in short, all I'm saying is that I'm really sad. Uh, but yeah, take this transition with me. At least I know I'll have you guys. You know, in your co in the comment box, please encourage me. Write me a comment, and even in the coming videos that we're going to shoot and the whole transition process and just getting there to the Philippines. I'm excited for the adventure. Personally, I love adventure. I guess that's why I married very far, very far. Even just my whole arranged marriage was adventure so I love adventure and I'm interested to see the transition with the children and I'm excited for them to learn the language learn the food learn their culture see their grandfather Thandi and Theophany I've never seen their grandfather so that's big for them and yeah that's even a whole vlog and it's a meeting our grandfather for the first time but yeah so we're excited and um, yeah I'm sad but they're excited so five out of six 
is, is a good number, is a good tally of excitement here. <laughs> Otherwise, thank you so much, guys. If you haven't subscribed, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please go ahead. We're on the road to 100,000. We are 5,000 away, and we're getting there slowly but mm -hmm. sure. Yes, turn on your notification bell for future vlogs, and goodbye. Say goodbye with us as we also say goodbye to Kenya. God bless you.